You got them all? You I got it, yeah. I, I try Everyone. to make eye contact with every single person. Just burn up like seven minutes. Yeah. Just, uh, we are... Like, I had a feeling we would. I thought yeah. you might wear green and a... Uh, green cord but pants. But this should go with your pants. It would, ha it would be a whole suit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to you in a minute. Thank you. I appreciate right. that. That's, that's why I come here for the gifts. Is that corduroy? This it is literally is like, corduroy. It literally I know. is the same exact... <laughs> Uh, uh, that's, ain't we something? That, that's how we, we're something else. Mm. I'm glad to be something that's with you. That's the first time I've been uh, introduced as an Emmy Award winner. Congratulations. Yeah, how about that? I mean, I didn't, it really, you know, I try, I try to be a good listener, and I was like, I was like, oh, damn, that's the first time. Yeah. So that's neat. Golden Globe winner, Critics' Choice, a SAG yeah, Award. Yeah, 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 yeah. Named, named on time 100 list, uh, the 100 list of most influential people. In 2021. But you oh, really yes. want 2008. Yeah. That's the year you yeah. want to get it. Yeah. That's the year you want. You know, Obama, oh, you know, that's the year you want it. Oh, 2021. No. <laughs> this know. means nothing. All right. But really. Time Magazine, Prince dead. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. You know. They still like that magazine, though. <laughs> that's true. You, time, it, it goes on. It does. Time, yeah. time does go on. Um, and you walk from all the way across the street. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Yeah, no, we're on the, we're on the lot here. Uh, we're, we're lot. Siblings? Is that what they say? Yes, we're lots. We're lots I've never heard that, but yes, let's say That's it. That's what they say. Yes. They've been saying that for weeks. Uh, lot siblings. Uh, but yeah, we're writing season three of uh, Apple TV Plus's Ted Lasso. So yeah, in theory. In theory. Thank you. Now, I didn't realize that you were writing it here. I'm yeah. happy that, to know that you're here. Yeah, no. Uh, it's, it's, and yeah. how far in are you on season three? We are this, I think we just started week three. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, it was a crazy week for for the second week to be like leading up to the Emmys and then the week after, you know, uh, a bunch of folks won Emmys. A bunch of folks were nominated, then a bunch of folks won. So we were kind of like nervous and anxious and then real cocky and now we're back, we're back into the, yeah. the, the fear. We're uh, back in the fear. <laughs> Cooking it, that up. That's the good stuff. That's yeah. where the good stuff comes from. It's good to write from fear. I mean, yeah. you got to be hungry, right? You 100%. Got, it is yeah. kind of hard because your, your first season, nobody knew how that was going to be. And Myself it is included. The sweetest show. If you have not watched Ted Lasso, your character is so lovable and adorable and, and the show makes you, I mean, Portia, I would just sit there and cry every episode <laughs> and laugh and it's just, it's, it's fantastic. But it is... It is a tricky thing because when you have that success and you're like, oh my God, now I, the pressure is I have to keep topping that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even the second season, we, we, we knew what the whole season was before the show had come out. So, so yeah, this is the first time we're, we're writing it in the echo chamber of success and people taking ownership over the characters and the stories themselves from yeah. the fans' point of view and from the, you know, the actors' point of view. All that stuff is happening in this little cauldron now. So, yeah, it's... it's it, but, it's, I mean, I'd, I'd take... The, the version of it where people have watched the show and care about the show over indifference any time. So, yeah, right. I mean, a blessing and a curse. And then what is it like to, to film where you're filming? You're filming outside of London? I'm mostly in London, like a little area called Richmond where the, where the team is supposed to be taking place, uh -huh. which is like, you know, like a suburb of, of you know, London. Yeah. Um, uh, and then in West London at a, at a great studios there, you know, in between basically London proper and Heathrow. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, uh, and yeah, I mean, it, it's, I think it's really, really important to film there. Just because we, we get so many great, like, you know, day players. We, we have an, a tremendous uh, cast director named Theo Park who gives us, you know, incredibly talented people that she just has her pick of the litter from over there. And, and you know, it saves on plane tickets. Yep. Well, you know, it's only me and Brendan are the only Americans on the show, so, you know, it makes it easier for folks. Saves a, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a and great... That's what I'm thinking. You know, yeah. what, what, what makes it easier for Apple and Warner yeah. Brothers? <laughs> right, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah I, I tend to th think, we, you know, think like a billionaire, become a billionaire. That's... I see. Yeah, gold. These are gold cups. These are new, by the way. Uh -huh. That's very yeah. nice. Well, it's for the final season. What? Yes. Yeah, I'm done. You got fired? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. I'm done. Um, do you remember? You've been here for uh, most of the years. Yeah. The very first time you were on, yeah. I gave you a gift. Yes. Um, I understand you still have it. Is that true? <laughs> that's so true. Oh, my it God. It hangs in my house in Brooklyn. Absolutely, yeah. Can you? No, that's... that's... <laughs> it's enormous. Look at the size it, no, of that. It's... It's as almost real life size of this. It's as big as that. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's life size. And you really still have that. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you signed it. Yes. That, I mean, you signed it, and that's the only time I've seen you in a bikini or in a, in a bathing suit. No. But this was, you, you gave this to me because I, you know, back in my, my uh, college basketball days, I had a huge, I loved your show. I loved, you know, your books. 
I had a huge crush on you, and my Uncle George, who works in the show business, was like, Jace, that one might not work out. And I it didn't know why, didn't know why. You know. <laughs> uh, and so, but I, I had a poster, an Ellen poster of you, like in a John Travolta pose like that. Uh -huh. And I had lost it, because my sister took it to college, and she put it up, and it, it had found it, and so you replaced it. So I, you know, I'm holding on to that. Oh my God, I my love. My sister snakes it. I love, and I'm um, and, and, and frightened that you still have it. Um, <laughs> it's a great frame. It's yeah. a very well-made frame. It's the frame, frame. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put yeah, something guilty. else in. It's like this, it's very yeah. similar to this cup. <laughs> <laughs> um, you should put the suit in it. Well, when I give you this suit. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and you're, I'm so excited you're going to be hosting Saturday Night Live. Yeah. That's yeah. the first time hosting, obviously. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you again. I mean, I, I, I hope you feel that same way on the Sunday afterwards. But yeah, no, I've, I mean, I worked there for 10 years, two years as a writer, eight years in the cast, did over 200 shows. Mm -hmm. And I've gone back to play, you know, Joe Biden and Mitt Romney over the last few years. But, but now, yeah, now I get to go. I mean, you've hosted. It's like, yeah. you know, uh, even having worked there as much as I have, I've never had the experience of having every sketch on the Wednesday. We do a read-through on Wednesday, and so all the writers, you know, like 50 people, the writers, the cast, write all these pieces, and it's like five hours worth of material. And as the host, you're in 98% of it. And so, like, that's what I'm really, really excited to do yeah. is just like that little talent show on Wednesday when everybody's trying their stuff out and just trying to, you know, get to talk in a bunch of voices and try stuff I've never done before. Well, and it's also so fast because oh, you have to so change. They, they're ripping clothes off of you and putting oh, with something yeah. else. But you'll, you'll, I can't wait to, and you're with my pal, Brandy Carlisle. I know, how that's about that? Be, that's, I mean, that's a great that's, show. I'm very, very excited. Yeah. That woman, Yeah. She, I mean, she makes it look so easy. She's like yeah. with Twitch with dancing. Like, I, as I'm impressed by his dancing, but what I'm most impressed by as a, as a 46 year old man is how you are not winded after you dance. <laughs> that's the real magic. So like Brandy, when she sings, she opens her mouth like this. And like an orchestra comes out, I'm like, yeah. that's, I yeah. don't have that gift, don't I have know. the talent. Yeah. She's in, but w when we come back, Jason's gonna sing for us. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait till you hear this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, wait till you hear it. We'll be back with Jason. That's Jason Sudeikis in Ted Lasso. Uh, for, for the like five people who have not seen it yet, um, tell people what Ted Lasso is about. Uh, Ted Lasso is uh, it's a show about uh, a fella named Ted Lasso, oh, who is an American football coach. I didn't realize that part. Yeah, that was, that's, okay. that, we, we hide that. That's, okay. that's what the truth is. Uh, but yeah, he gets hired to coach a professional soccer team in, in London. And then, you know, it stops being just about him. It starts being about the people there and, and you know, the, sort of the, the chosen family and workplace comedy that, that, you know, the football team, a soccer team, you know, has going on and around it. So you're just, your character, no matter how many people say nasty things, you're just like, huh. Oh. Okay, like you just, you, you're never angry. You don't, it just rolls off of you. It's just, yeah, it's no, a beautiful it's, character. It's like the, the Chumbawamba theory. He gets knocked down, he gets back up again. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just, you know, going through there. And, and I mean, it really is like a, a fun philosophy and character to play. And, and I, it, look, I'm not Daniel Day-Lewis, you know, uh, but, but you can't help but play a guy like this and sort of have it bleed into your real life. And it's been really fascinating hearing people's stories about how they've tried to take on that, you know, take on that metaphor. I feel like there's an element of us, you know, with your character Dory, you know, from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, that we talk about that on the show, you know, be a goldfish, have a 10 second memory. Right. <laughs> and just like, just that notion, people have taken that as, you know, don't sweat the small stuff, you know, you know, brush your shoulders off, whatever you have you. Yeah. Any way to put it, there's all these little lessons in there that we were just trying to make people laugh. And yet people have taken them really, they've found their way between people's ribs and got into their souls. Yeah. And I, you know, you can't, you don't know you're gonna do that when you're setting out writing jokes, but the fact yeah. that they have has really, really been really lovely. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful show and hilarious as well. Um, and you, you do, uh, you sing Bye 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 uh, on this. Is that something you had to learn? Is that something that was already memorized? No, I, I mean, the, the fellas the, the on the dance. team, yeah, they had to learn the choreography, the guys on the team. Uh, we have a character that we say goodbye to this season. Uh, and so what better way to say goodbye than to do choreography? And so me, I knew the dance. I knew the dance from, from mostly from my time living in Amsterdam. I, I worked at a sketch and improv theater there along with the two fellas that I created the show with, Brendan and Joe. Uh, and the only thing on Dutch television in English were music videos and The Nanny with Fran Drescher. <laughs> and as much as, exactly, and as much as I love Fran Drescher, at some point you gotta click over to some music videos. <laughs> yeah. You know, just to give your ears a rest, sure. you know? And the plot, yeah. you know, you just, you, 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 want, you wanna break it up. And so yeah, the, that was right when, when NSYNC was, you know, running the world, and so I watched that video a lot. So you knew the dance I knew already. the dance, yeah. So, and, and uh, we, we have to go to break, but before we go to break, uh, when you were done shooting, you let your daughter shave your mustache. Yeah, yeah, just so That's, she knew it was me. She's seven, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I paid her. 
No, she's she's five. She was actually four she's, at the age. She's yeah, four. But I, it was one of those like clippers. Uh huh. You know, and like right. You know, I mean, but I that's my you know you and Olivia cut my hair last time. You know, one of the last times I was here. I was gonna say you're really risky because I I cut your hair yeah. when you were here last no, time you guys and your daughter. Yeah. yeah. And now, now Daisy shaves my mustache. I don't I don't care. You don't. I'm gonna care. have Otis wax my chest. That'll be the hardest gig of all. No, it's the jungle down there. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I need to see that. Um, all right, uh, season two finale of Ted Lasso will be available tomorrow on Apple TV Plus, and we're going to play a game with Jason after this.